All right, boys and girls, it's time to crawl back in the trenches. More War Christmas Village. See ya. Hello, welcome back to the uh, <clears throat> to the workshop. We're continuing to work on the uh, Nutcracker and uh, Rat King and Blitzen. Right now we have the Nutcracker out, so we're going to work on him a little bit. And so what I did is I pulled out my gold. We're gonna do some of the some of the gold elements. That he's got going on. The uh Good looking, I think. At least. I like to think so, but hey. I'm biased. It's got kind of neat little filigree parts on his hat, so we'll have to be a little careful when we do those. But, you know, again, if we, if we go over, or if things don't quite turn out right, we can always go back in with the other colors, you know, with the red, and fix it up. Like, it looks like I'm going to have to. No big deal though. Now, we do have a conundrum. Do we do part of it kind of as a yellow cloth or do we keep the gold brocade going? That is going to be the tough part. That's something we'll have to decide. When we get there. And I mean, it's coming up pretty quick. Whether or not we're going to have to... What we're going to do. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about just making it go, making it as obtuse and fancy as possible, because, you know, that's how you would be painted, this is nutcrackers, you know, a nutcracker. And he's just coming to life. <laughs> Ooh. 
So with that being said, with that being decided, decisioned, as it were, I am going to paint the cuffs of his jacket gold because because one I can and two it just looks real good you know come on I mean if he has gold brocade running across his chest Why couldn't he have gold cuffs and gold epaulets? To me, it looked great. At least I think it looked, well, yeah, to me, it looks great. At least I think it does. And we're going to do the same on his epaulets here. I like it. And plus, if you're high, you know, if you're going to hide them in the Christmas display, I think it'll fit right in. All the gold. There we go. It's coming along quite nicely. We're going to kind of do The uh, the rat's crown, the rat king's crown, and gold too. So again, we have the ability. So why not? Hmm. Yeah, we are.
There we are. Put the gold away for a moment. We're going to go to purple. Oh, and uh, by the way, don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually using the new the new Citadel paint handles. They're a bit thin. They're a bit thinner at the top. A little taller. I don't know. I've been using these for about a week now, a little over a week, and uh, to be honest, I actually, I actually really like them. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about them, so I bought one, gave it a try. And uh, I was actually quite quite impressed. Well, hello there. I don't know if you guys remember my little one. Hi. He comes up and sees me for a visit every now and then. I'm very happy to see her. You guys don't am. Oh, she tried to give me kisses, and that's nice. Anyway, down you get, little one. Go play. Great, we're working on the Rat King. So what we're going to do is we're going to give... Uh, Red King seemingly has a purple tunic. So, purple it'll be. Work on the face here in a minute. The face and the hands. Since these are single, uh, I'm not sure if they're single cast, but they are at least pre-assembled. It's you know, you might find it tricky to get into some of the harder parts of the tunics or the shirts or what have you. Do what you can. Make it the best you can. And don't sweat it if you can't quite get it. Most likely, if you if the brush can't get it, you won't be able to see it. Or it'll be very hard to see. You know, without really twisting and turning the miniature. Now we did a color called Bugsman Glow on the uh, on the Nutcracker. 
And you know what? I should have done the same thing while I was doing the doing the rat king. Because if you look at most rats or mice or hamsters or most rodents anyway, they don't have any fur on their hands. Or the, at least the paws. So what we're going to do is give this guy a little bit of a little bit of coloring inside his ears on his muzzle Studio cat wanting attention. Gonna give it a little bit of a wash. Pretty much call that one done. At least a flash. Now we're gonna make him a brown rat, because that's kind of what color he is, is in the on the box. So we're gonna take more fang brown. Throw it on the palette. And then we're gonna give him, give him a little bit of fur. You're known to have. And in the areas that we have overpainted with any of the other colors, we'll just disappear under the brown.
course we're gonna clean we'll clean everything up make it look nice Underneath the chin. Down the throat. Stuff like that. Oh, good stuff. Oh. Two characters come along quite well, I think. What do you think? All right. So we'll let that dry. What we're going to do is we're going to move over to a, what we call lead belcher. It's the uh, silver that I use for gun barrels or swords or anything that I need to base coat metal. The lead belcher is getting getting pretty old. There's not much left of it. We'll see what we can pull out of here. So that cracker is first. All it is is just quick. Looking down to the, the sword. Put him off to the side. I know so far I have been thoroughly actually enjoying these handles. The new handles are are a little bit more ergonomically designed. They actually fit really well into your hand. Uh, they allow you to change and move position a lot more ease than the other ones or at least that's what I find
Don't get me wrong, I still use the other the other handles because there's nothing wrong with them. At all. These ones just um, perform a little better or something. I'm, I don't really know what you want to call it. And since the Rat King, uh, you know, since uh, I'm not sure that the Rat King would have quite as good equipment as the as the Nutcracker, because the Nutcracker's, you know, he's military and he might be have better better painted stuff. I'm gonna give the Rat King kind of a a bronze, uh, a bronze look to his handle. Or to his sword. And since he's holding it with two hands, there's really not much. There's not really much there to paint you know, the cross guard is there and the pommel that's really about it course we have his teeth to do you know because he's a rat rats have teeth and we're gonna start the rat we're gonna start it with Zandri dust it's a good base color You don't need a lot of it. And we have the two teeth in the front. Actually, you know what? I think that's all I'm going to do. How about, you know, trying to do the teeth in there? But, I don't know. that bad. Alright guys, so we are going to continue working on these wonderful war on Christmas village fellers next time we see you in the workshop. So until then, paint safe, and we'll see you in the workshop.